Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my team is Marketech Vision, and I'm the leader, Lee Kram Ramdan. And these are my colleagues, Andy Steven and Junior DeYoung. And today our product is called Pharmax. Now, <clears throat> the problem we have faced in Guyana right now is that farmers have a difficulty in finding buyers for their produce. And products can be sold below market value to avoid spoilage, right? Most persons in Guyana, the farmers who, um, like small farmers who don't produce a lot, they got their stock and in order to sell it off, they got to sell it below the market price. That's because a lot of competition and so forth, right? There's no platform to facilitate B2B transaction between international buyers and local producers. And farmers are not aware of the demand trends of produce in Guyana. And lastly, no current facility exists to keep track of Guyana's agricultural market. That is to say that we as Guyanese, we can't tell what level of produce we're creating in Guyana if we're, if we're mass producing a sugarcane or something else. The solution, Farmex is a responsive platform geared towards bridging the gap between local producers and the foreign market. It also provides real-time overview of Guyana's agricultural sector. It provides a facility to allow producers to manage and track their monthly production. So this is a neat feature for the farmers that they can track how much you're producing per month and you get a general statistic on that as to like what we're doing, right? It provides an insight on the demand and supply of local produce, how much people are wanting and what is the local um, production limit for Guyanese. And it also reduces the spoilage by allowing local producers to sell more on a platform that is easily accessible by the foreign market. Now who is this solution for? Our farmer solution is geared towards producers, which is the farmers both small, from small and uh, small all the way to large scale, right? Who seek to expand their profit margin and their market space. And is also geared towards buyers, which is the international market and also local large exporters who seek to purchase products or this produce for either production into manufacturing into other products or just migration to other countries, right? Now our buyers in the system, right, which are the persons looking to, to purchase stuff from the, the producers or farmers, they can manage tenders. What we call tenders are um, a means of where they can say what they would like to purchase. It's like a request for proposal, right? They can put up a tender on the system to basically say they would like to purchase 2,000 pounds of um, plantain or so forth, right? They can view bids. Our bid system is what we call where the, the producer or the farmer can bid on a tender or basically submit their proposal to see how much they can supply towards the tender. The buyer can also accept and decline bids from the producers in the sense that if, um, if, if, a buyer, if a producer submits a bid, they can decide if they would like to accept the supply from that producer or decline it and choose another producer. And they can also view the production trend in Guyana to see what is marketing more currently or what is producing more currently. The producer, on the other hand, which is the farmers, they can create bids towards the tenders as mentioned before and also manage their products and their production to say how much they're producing every month. Excellent. All right, some of the features that we have in our application is a web-based front end, which is a website basically, right? We've got a responsive user interface for both mobile and desktop. We have a user login session um, system, really. So what this does is it authenticates the user and checks basically track their profile, their production, their tenders, their bids, etc. We have the registration portal that caters for registering buyers and producers. And we have an informative dashboard. What this dashboard does is provides an overview of the profile, what they produce, the bids they bid on, tenders they put out, etc. We've got an easy to use navigation system. Um, one of the key things about this application that we built it was with simplicity in mind. Because we're, we're gearing towards um, farmers, small and large scale, right? 
Now, most farmers are not ICT aware, and that makes it difficult for them to use computer systems. With that in mind, we created an easy to use platform where everything is like in hand reach, basically. We've got the tenant management system, the next one, the bid tracking system, which shows all the bids for the tenders, and product management. Now we'll go to a live demo of the original system that we have, so you can take a look at the walkthrough. All right, so for the live demo, this is what we call the web front end. What this does is basically open up the market space. It shows the latest tenders, the top grossing products in Guyana, and the top producer for Guyana, or top producer in the system generally. So this is a platform that is accessible not only to the producers and the buyers, but also to the general public to see what is going on in the agricultural sector in Guyana. We've got a section here that caters for the tenders, and these are the open tenders that the buyers would have posted, right? And we have the top 10 buyers on this side. We've got a find a producer section, which allows um, the buyer, if they're looking for a specific product, they can look up a specific um, producer for that. And the about is just some general information on this web front. So this is our login. Um, before we log in into the system, we'd like to mention about our registration features. So if you're registering into the system, you have the option to choose either a buyer or a producer. From here on, the system will capture your basic information since we're dealing with farmers and um, buyers, so we don't need much. So we just take basically the bio data and contact information for those um, individuals. And also their login credentials. Taking that, we can sign in into the account. And when you sign into your account, something happens, right? The system sends you back to the original website. With that in mind, if you go to tenders, as we visited before, you'll now notice that once you're logged in, you can bid on a tender. As a logged in user, you can bid and supply your quantity that you would like to propose to supply this um, tender with, right? So if, for instance, this tender here has, they want 5,000 pieces of apples, you can actually submit 3,000 if you have that in stock and save. And that will be submitted. And then, once it's submitted, what it does is it takes you to your bid management screen, which shows you all the bids you've submitted and their status, right? As you can see here, there's a status of them. If they're pending, if the buyer accepts or refuses it. So it's pending approval. Yes, pending approval. All right. You can optionally edit or remove your tender. Your bid, sorry. Right? This can be edited here. If you want to change your bid to a different bid that exists. Right? Sorry. All right. We have the bid screen, as you've seen before. And we have the tenders. Here you can add your tender. by putting in the description that you would like the buyer to see and the producer to see. Selecting the, the product, the quantity, and the unit type. Now we added this unit type feature because every different product has its own unit type, right? For instance, you may want to purchase plantain by the pong, some people might purchase plantain by the KG, right? So it's different. So you select your unit type that you wish to purchase in, and that would be added here. Also, we've got the product management section where you can manage your products you can add new products, update, delete. We've got the product categories, and this shows the different categories of product that we produce, right? We've got fruits, vegetables, spices, etc., seeds, and so forth. And lastly, we've got the unit types. And the unit types, as mentioned before, this varies by product. So when you add a product, you select the unit type that it goes with. And this concludes our demo here. All right, in conclusion, this application has the potential to benefit buyers and farmers if developed for them. Our solution also provide, will prove beneficial to the country by providing statistical information on the overall agricultural produce level. That is to say, how much are we producing 
every month and are we producing enough to supply a foreign market right the solution also assists in making local farmers more ICT aware through training and exposure um, our future work includes creating a mobile app currently the application is responsive for mobile browsers and web browsers but we intend to create a mobile app for it as well and we look to collaborate with local exporters to allow small scale producers to sell and deliver to the foreign market. And the reason for this is because we've got small farmers in Guyana, but not all farmers can bid on international um, tenders and supply them. The reason being is because they are not part of a supply chain. They get that stuff from Guyana to Barbados or so forth. So we look to collaborate with export, exporting companies, right? So that these companies can serve as the body to transfer those goods from Guyana to foreign market. Um, yes, that concludes our demo and presentation. Thank you. First question I got for you guys. Yes. Um, your system mm -hmm. doesn't do any auto matching. But say, for example, I want apples um, from the system. Mm -hmm. Not apples, let's talk about Guyana. I want some sterile. Yes. Um, let's say I want maybe 200. Mm -hmm. And I put my request into the system, and then um, two persons come up and they have that in their product listed. Uh -huh. Does it tell me right away that this is my source? Um, <laughs> currently, it does and not. Search. It currently does not, but however, that's where the fine producer um, link is on the website, where you can actually find a local producer for the good right there. So, yeah. What about payments? Payments. Um, yes, that's, an, that, that's a real good question. Now, now we talk terms in Guyana. Um, payment is a big deal, right? Now, for small producers, they are not like so much into the bank business and online shopping, etc. So, considering that and large-scale producers as well, we decided to opt in for cash and delivery payment. Whereas when the small farmers they deliver their goods to these buyers, right? They got their cash because. If we were to gravitate towards the, the direction of getting farmers set up with bank accounts to process online transactions, etc., it would be a lengthy process and somewhat frustrating. Also, not all buyers would opt in for banking systems and so forth. So we decided to go for the cash and delivery method. So the system relies on the seller more than say that this has been sold by the buyer. The, the buyer, yeah, the buyer. The, um, the notice that as they as they receive the goods, yes. Um, currently, we don't have the conversion there, but that is in the future works, yes. Uh, take aside, oh, the report is not on um, computers yet, so we've, not, we've chosen to not demo that. Thank you. Thank you.